So welcome to another quick tip. This time I'm going to use Illustrator and After Effects, uh, the way they combine. And uh, I've made some artwork within Illustrator based on the HDTV preset that gives me the right resolution. And it's based on uh, the RGB colors, the red, green and blue colors, which are perfect for display. Um, so I'm going to go to After Effects and import it into my uh, project by double clicking the project, selecting the Adobe Illustrator file importing it as a composition retain layer sizes really important for animation that will make sure that every uh, layer has got the size the dimensions of the objects uh, on that particular layer open gives me a folder with the three layers and when i open up the composition it will give me this file and i'm going to animate uh, the cup so i'm going to uh, hide my uh, uh, student but I want to to animate the cup and uh, when I drag it aside I can see there's an uh, error inside of my uh, illustrator file it's the shadow of my coffee cup is in the wrong layer so I need to command Z and edit the, the layers inside of Adobe Illustrator the best way to do it is to edit the original by going to edit and edit original that will open up Adobe Illustrator if you do it without that option and go directly to Illustrator open up your file and make some adju uh, adjustments um, Adobe After Effects uh, wouldn't know there has been an update to the file so that gives some uh, some errors in your uh, in your workflow um, so go to edit edit original it will launch uh, Adobe Illustrator with the correct file and uh, allows you to uh, uh, to change things and After Effects will know what's uh, what's happening what's going on um, so this uh, shadow needs to be in uh, the other layer so I'm gonna uh, drag this little uh, square upwards to the cup layer that will make sure that it's in the correct layer um, but it's on top of all the objects inside of this layer so I need to make sure that uh, this path is uh, uh, on the back so I'm gonna arrange it send to back in this layer save the file again and go back to after effects and it will, uh, will have uh, altered i'm gonna reposition it a bit this is my final composition so i uh, open up the transform tools within the layer go to frame uh, well let's say 20. make sure that there's a keyframe so i'm going to enable the stopwatch go back to frame zero drag it to the right side of the stage of your composition and that gives me uh, two keyframes a starting position and the end position and After Effects will do the in-betweens well that's perfect but it's a linear uh, animation so it's not that fancy to look at it's not that natural uh, you would uh, expect it to uh, to increase the speed and come to a stop at the end um, and this is a linear animation, so the, the whole animation has got the same speed, which is not that natural. So I'm uh, going to alter that by right-clicking a keyframe and choose for the keyframe assistant. And well, let's say uh, let's go for the easy ease out. Gives me another type of a keyframe, and uh, things have changed because now when I play the animation. It will uh, increase the speed. There we go. You can see it in a, a graphic way as well in the graph editor. It speeds up and goes uh, almost linear at the end. Going back. Um, because I can also choose for, well, let's say the ease in. And it gives me uh, another uh, view. Quite speedy at start and slows down until the end. Play and comes to a stop. And if you don't want to uh, to alter the uh, the keyframes by hand and I want to be uh, quick, you can also choose for the easy ease. That will make sure that there's a ease in and an ease out on all the keyframes selected. And now when I play the animation, it will speed up and slow down. So those are the, uh, the easy ease uh, functions 
which make the animation way better uh, than uh, than a linear animation, which is uh, well not that good actually. So that's uh, that's pretty cool. Another thing uh, working with the Illustrator files is that you're working uh, uh, with vectors. So when you uh, go to Illustrator and uh, hit the Command Y option. Uh, you can see it's all vectorized, it's all vectors, and when you zoom into your object, it will stay sharp because of the fact that it's all a vector. When we do the same with the same file in After Effects, it uh, uh, wouldn't look that uh, that good because it's pixelated. An easy way to, to solve that problem is to enable this little uh, wheel on your layer. Uh, and that's continuously rasterized. This gives you a, a, a way better quality of your uh, of your image. Um, so that's a pretty uh, handy tool. When you don't have uh, these options, where you don't see these options, you're probably in the wrong mode. So you need to uh, switch the modes in order to see that uh, particular option. So pretty cool. Some quick tips uh, for working with uh, with Illustrator and After Effects. Thank you for watching, and see you again next time for another quick tip.